The Pride Parade has led thousands of people into Hockley streets, and the stages are attracting quite an audience. But when placard-waving protesters arrive, it signals a special someone's arrival. It's the Queen of Bullwell, Charity Shop Sue. From day dot, We've had so, so so much support from this community. I won't forget that, the girls won't forget it, the shop won't forget it, right? So when I'm here today, I'm just feeling the love. I want to give the love back and we won't stop giving the love. Sue isn't alone though. She's brought her girls along for the party. Uh, Pride's been amazing. It was so great because I've got to DJ, obviously, for Sue. She picks the songs. I don't get much choice in that, but... You know, she's, uh, she did really well, she picked some good tunes, everyone enjoyed the vibe, it was great, yeah. <laughs> well, when you say that Sue picks the songs, how does that make you feel? I don't mind, you know, it's, it's, she's got better taste than me, I think. I, I just like all old stuff, so. <laughs> is it nice to get out of the shop and be around all these people? Well, of course it is, darling, I'm chained to a bloody desk 24 <laughs> seven. It's hard because all I'm thinking in my mind all the time is how many people I can help. Um, how many volunteers can I help? They need to get back into jobs. That you know, it's not just about giving people a second chance. It's about the volunteers. And, um, and then I've got a manager on my back that's above me. Can you believe it? I do have one. And pecking me, um, you know, the sales aren't as good this week. Well, you know what, darling? <laughs> Give us a break. We're doing all we can. That's all I'm going to say because otherwise I get ticked off. And you know it, I know what you journos are like, you're trying to get it out of me. I like it, you're sweet. Do you like working with Sue? Yeah. She, she gives you lots to do, lots of, lots of jobs. Yeah, I'm ever so sorry, darling. Are you all right? Yeah. Because you're looking a little bit like this. Are you going to get back to the shop with me? Yeah. I, th I think we had a few more questions there, Sue. Yeah, I think... know, sweetheart, but you know what, right? If you're not selling stuff in a charity shop, people will be with her and that's more important than this interview. You might have seen Sue's Christmas special last year, but now there's rumours of a new documentary. Right, yeah, so basically there's been a documentary. I've not seen it myself yet, so I'm a little bit apprehensive about talking about it, but um, I've heard some great things and I've heard some things that are saying, look, Sue, you might not come out the best, but then I've had some people saying you've been storming it. I'll see because I know people that are lawyers. I don't want to put the, the you know, the heebie-jeebies up people. I don't want to do that. I'm not that kind of girl, I'm a positive girl. But I will come down on them like a ton of bricks. If happy little bluebirds fly.